Hello, and welcome to this episode on integrating Elasticsearch with Golang. In this video, I'll walk you through using Elasticsearch to add search functionality to your Golang application. Let's start with a brief introduction. Elasticsearch is a powerful full-text search engine built on top of Apache Lucene. It's widely used for its scalability and real-time search capabilities. With Elasticsearch, you can handle large volumes of data and execute complex queries quickly. We have a simple Gingonic-based application that lists blogs. We will use Elasticsearch to implement full-text search on blogs. Here is the Go Elasticsearch client package. Installation instructions are on this link. Let's copy this command. Let's install the package. Let's begin by setting up an Elasticsearch client without further ado. We will do this in Model Setup. Declare a new Elasticsearch client. For some reason, this auto import does not import V8. We have to manually fix this. Here, we create a new function that connects the Elasticsearch client. We create a new client using new default client. This method creates a connection to Elasticsearch running on local host and port 9200. If there is an error, we raise panic. We set ES client to client. Next, we will set up an index to store documents. We will first check if the index exists. Let's define this variable, search index. Here, we define a new index exists request. We are going to look for this index. This method, do, fires the request. It requires the context and the client object. If there is an error, it means the index does not exist. So, we create the index. Let's call these functions while setting up the application. Before that, let's fix this import as well. Let's call those functions after the database setup. Next, we will create a new API to add documents to the index. Though this is not the right way, we should use Factory which we covered in episode 42. Or when a new blog is added or updated, we can use GORM hooks, which we explained in episode 6. For now, to keep things simple, we will do this with an API. This is the API, and here is the handler. Let's implement this handler. We extract all blogs. Now, we will add all blogs to the index. We will implement this functionality in the model. In this function, we will create an instance of this structure which will serve as the document to be added to the index. This structure contains the text fields of the blog model. In this document, we will set the values from the blog. Next, we convert the document to JSON format. 
Let's create a new index request. The index is search index. We need to set the document ID, which will be the blog ID in our case. Elasticsearch requires this to be a string. Let's do that. Next is the body of the request. Refresh is set to true to refresh the index immediately after the operation, making the document available for search right away. This executes the index request using the Elasticsearch client and the context. Handle the error. Next, defer, closing the response body. This logs a message indicating that the document was successfully indexed. Let's use this method in the controller. Let's run the server and index the documents. We call this API to index all blogs. On the server we get these prints that indicate that the blogs are indexed successfully. Now, we will use Elasticsearch to search a query entered by the user. We will add a search form on this page. Here is the search form code. We set the action to the logs API, which is the same as the page itself. We will pass a parameter query with the request. Here is the submit button. The search form looks like this. When we enter a query, it goes to a URL like this with an additional parameter. It does not make any difference. Let's handle this in the controller. Let's read the query parameter. If there is a non-blank query parameter, we do the search query. Else get all blogs. Let's move this variable our blogs out. Now we will implement searching in the model. This function takes the search query and returns the blogs matching the search query. This is how we create a query that Elasticsearch understands. Query is a hash map. This nested map represents the main query clause in the Elasticsearch domain-specific language. The multi-match query is a specialized query used to search for a value across multiple fields. The query key maps to the value of search query. Fields specify the fields in the documents where Elasticsearch should look for the search query value. In this case, it searches within the title and content fields. Next, we need to convert this query into JSON that Elasticsearch understands. Let's handle the error. Now we do the search query. We need to pass the index and the query in JSON format. Let's handle the error. If there is an error, we return nil. Defer the closure of the response body. There could be another error condition where the response has an error. Next, we decode the JSON response.
Now we extract the IDs of the blogs from the response body. Here we look for hits key and then the ID. We extract the blogs from the database using the IDs extracted from the search response. In the end, we return these blogs. Now, in the handler, let's use this function. Let's run the code now. We will put a search query. And here are the blogs containing Flash. Let's try something else. This works too. That's it for this episode. You've learned how to set up Elasticsearch, index documents and perform searches using Golang. This is just the beginning. Elasticsearch offers a wide range of features for more advanced use cases. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy coding.